After the questions and all of the answers, they'll take a picture of you themselves. That's totally normal. They want to have a shot of you that's current, not just the ones in your book. The reason is to make sure you actually still look like your portfolio shots. That's another reason to look your best at a go-see. So, let's pretend you've had your go-see with a modeling editor. You've answered all the questions, they like you, they want to book you. What do you need to know about actually working with them? To begin with, make sure when it's time for the shoot, you work well with the photographer. Take their directions and be polite and professional. Be easy to work with. That's the impression you want to leave with them. The modeling editor will ask the photographer what they thought of you. If the photographer thought you were difficult to work with and tells the modeling editor that, you probably won't get another job from them. Even though it's important to take direction and be polite, never do anything that makes you uncomfortable. If a modeling editor or anyone else asks you to do something that feels wrong, don't do it. Remember, you're in control. Even though you want the job, you decide whether or not to take it. And some jobs just aren't worth it. Remember to thank them and tell them you look forward to the next job. When your shoot is over, always remember to either thank the modeling editor in person or call or email them to say thank you. You should also tell them you're really looking forward to working with them again. That plants the seed in their mind to hire you for more work. That's it for the second part of our lesson on modeling editors. Come back for part three where we'll talk about things you can do to practice for your first go-see with a modeling editor. It's the most important thing to get right if you want to work in magazines, so come back. I'll see you there.